around one million tourists flock to the Maldives each year. It's a country made up of more than 1,000 pristine islands. But close to the capital, Male, there is one place no visitor would want to go. For 20 years, Tilofushi, or Rubbish Island, has been the nation's main dumping ground. It's an eyesore, but also a serious ecological threat. All this garbage, the most uh, serious stuff, uh, comes from the electronic waste. Here, we, have, we are filling the sea, shallow area, and it is in the, this garbage bin, uh, the uh, depot, is in, in, in the ocean, in liquid. So it's very easy, uh, the, the heavy metals, the chemicals like lead and all these non-biodegradables to get into the ocean, into the, the reef around, and then get into the food chain. More than 200 tonnes of rubbish are dumped on the island every day. Most is from Male, but a quarter comes from the nation's holiday resorts. Dozens of migrant workers sift through it, separating what to bury from what can be burned. When they dump the waste, we find all the plastic items, like plastic bottles, and put them to one side. Then everything else we pile together and set it on fire. Local authorities plan to stop toxic open burning and build a cleaner incinerator on the island. They also want to reclaim land and move from sea fill to landfill. They hope better waste management in Mali through door-to-door -door collection and recycling will further reduce damage to the environment around Tilofushi. The island will remain as it is because this, it's an industrial island and uh, the project that we are right now, we are going ahead, will monitor uh, the air pollution and also the sea pollution near the uh, Tilafushi Island. So no further uh, expansion by waste will be done for, for Tilafushi. In fact, if, if we are uh, reclaiming, we will be doing it in an environment-friendly uh, manner. But political upheaval following a sudden change of government last year has meant plans for the island have stalled. As the country struggles to cope safely with waste of its own, environmentalists are encouraging tourists to take their most hazardous rubbish, such as batteries, home. <laughs>